Well, it was the end of the world, or at least that's what everyone thought in Berlin in the 1930s as Nazis rose to power. That's the backdrop for one of the most famous musicals of the 20th century, Cabaret. And as our guests today can tell you, almost 100 years later, there are many lessons to be learned from the unlikely love story that are still relevant today. The Commonwealth Theater Company's Seth Lieber and Neil Robertson are here from the Louisville production of Cabaret, which opens tonight. Now, Terry has seen Cabaret multiple times. I Come on, not, it's Liza. I did not know. <laughs> different era, but I did not know this backstory. You know songs and you know, sure. I mean, the over-the-top performances, but there's a real story here. Oh, that's absolutely. the biggest thing, and that's what we're trying to tell. It's, it's funny that most people know the numbers. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been the numbers are taken sort of out of context, but there's this really deep, delving story that, that talks about history and humanity, um, but more accessible through the big numbers. All right, and obviously the world is in tumult. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is obviously one of the, 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 the watershed moments in human history. Mm -hmm. And so the, the expressions that come out of this show are, we're gonna live our lives? Well, I, I think the most important takeaway from a show like this is that if you find yourself in a position where you are not affected by what is happening to these other people, you can't just ignore it. You can't just turn away and go, well, nothing's happening to me, I'm fine. You know, that to me, I mean, obviously a show like Cabaret, you ha you're presented with Nazis and extremism and, and uh, that's terrible, it's awful. But I think what's worse are the people who ignore it all and just act like nothing's happening. And I think that's what you take away from a show like Cabaret is that you can't ignore what's happening to other people. And that relevancy for where we are today as a world, I mean, you're going one step further in addition to the production, you're also offering a panel with, I mean, a number of esteemed individuals on it. Right, we, we feel it's time to ask some questions, have some bigger conversations in regards to uh, at least on my point is, is, you know, we're directing a show and how can this show affect the community that surrounds it? I mean, theater uh, is always transitioning into the community. So let's have this open discussion. Let's share the fears, the commonalities that parallel with our world today. Yeah, because there is so much uh, spotlighting that's going on in various segments of society and people who feel threatened and marginalized. So that's what was happening back in the 1930s. That's right. The Kit Kat Club was a place for many groups, many communities to escape, to yeah. feel free. And what happens when that is attacked? That's the conversation we're having. All right, for show patrons, what are they going to expect when they see on stage? This is a couple of hours of Look intense at, work? A couple of hours, but don't let the intensity, don't let right. all the world into <laughs> It is still a musical, and that's why the musical is so successful. That's why we still do it, because it's accessible mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. song and dance. And it's still telling that important story uh, by getting us there in lots of different ways. And tell us what your roles are with the company. Yeah, I am directing. I'm directing Cabaret, my first production here in Louisville. So okay. excited to be back in the Louisville area. And then um, I'm actually an alum of Walden. I graduated back in 2003. I started teaching with Walden in maybe 2010. And um, then I stepped away and focused full time on acting. Um, and so I'm coming back just to um, act in the production. Fantastic. Oh, that is fantastic. Walden School, that's where your class could be like 10 or 12 people, right? Well, actually, Walden School and Walden Theater are two oh, separate things. Oh, they're different things. Okay. Things. Yeah, but I actually did go to both, <laughs> which made things <laughs> very confusing for a lot of people. <laughs> Walden Pond, it's all tied in there. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're bringing this incredible yes. story Thank uh, you. to stage again. And actually, have a pretty good run here, too. So hope it goes wonderfully for you. And glad you're Thank holding you. the panel discussion. Yeah. We're very excited. We always about talk it. about conversations. We need more. That's Absolutely. what it's here for. Thank you for schooling us. I appreciate that. Learn something <laughs> yeah. new. Can't wait to see the production. Of course. Cabaret opens tonight and runs through March 24th at the Commonwealth Theater Center off Payne Street. You can join that panel discussion Sunday. It's at 6:15, following the 4 o'clock performance of Cabaret. And for tickets and information, go to CommonwealthTheater.org.